What's up guys, DP Fishing here. Um, I didn't, well I caught a fish earlier in the morning, but I didn't start my video till like right now, as you guys can tell. But today we are fishing in the kayaks. I caught one fish, Grant caught like probably five, six, five or six, maybe seven. But, um, I didn't get any of it on footage because it's kind of hard to video in the kayak. So maybe next time I catch a fish, hopefully I can pick you guys up. All right, guys, we, we moved from the marsh to uh, this marina, and we were just flipping docks here. I just hooked into about a uh, one-pounder. I landed him, and unfortunately, um, I did not get it on video, but I hooked into a one-pounder, and pretty much just... Just doing that, just flipping, flipping some docks. And hooked into just that one pounder, like I said. And didn't get on video, but I'll probably get another one on video for you guys. So we're right down here. Might also throw a frog. But I did just get another Senko, so. He's on a good one right now. Dude, I think it's stuck. It's Give it some slack. Oh, oh, did he break off? Is this a snag? Was that a snag the whole time? No way. No, this thing is fighting. This cannot be a snag. Let it, love it. Let, oh, it's one It's still on. It's just a fish. It's still on. Oh, it's a. Oh my it's god! It's a pike. It's a pike. Dude, help me land it. Help me land it. Grab it. Oh my Dude, grab god. it. Dude, I'm not grabbing that shit. Dude, that's a huge pike. That is Here, hold my pole. Hold my pole. It's a nice it. pike. Hey, keep it down. Keep the right tip down. I'm good, dude. I, I knew that was it. You got him. You got him. Make sure he's, he's holding on tight. He's gonna flop around, dude. Don't, don't let him, uh. Got pliers. We gotta get a picture. Up. Just get, get him out of the hook first. Just be careful. Dude, that's a big pike. Damn, dude, this is going to be hard. He did not want to come out. Let, let off the line. Okay. Am I in your way? Are you good? You still videoing? Yeah. Guys, this is a big pike. Oh, I got him an eyeball. Are you serious? Yep. You can get him out still. Oh, dude, look at this hook. It's gonna be blind now. Got him. I think I got it out of the eye. Now let's turn it. This is difficult. He's got some I tough. I hate dealing with pike, dude. I was about to say, dude, that thing's fighting pretty hard for a bass. Guys, this thing did not want to come off bottom and it just snapped my line. Are you serious? You yep. got it. There you go. Alright guys, the hook is out. And this is my first pike cool. that I've ever caught. Hang on, hold it from the bottom. This thing's gonna fight. This thing's gonna just run off. Just got back after a long day of fishing out at in the, by the marsh and stuff, doing some frog fishing and stuff, Sankos. Um, didn't get any of the bass on footage because this is my first time fishing on a kayak and I didn't really have a setup for like videoing and stuff. So sorry about the limited about that and stuff. But I and my bad. We didn't really have that much space because um. We moved out of the kayaks and we went to uh, the canal later and we were fishing in the little dinghy. We had like a limited space also, but it's better than the kayaks. But um, that's why the footage is not the greatest because it was kind of tight up in there. But at least we got the footage and I'm pretty stoked about that. 
but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed that and i was pretty pumped but um i did uh when i was one time earlier today um i wasn't videoing this but i was just reeling in my frog i think and i was just like there's a big blow up of a fish it was pretty cool and then uh when we were when we we're getting picked up to move to another spot um we uh i was using my frog and i guess frogs eat other frogs and uh this huge bullfrog attacks my frog and I catch it. It was pretty crazy. I was, I was like, kind of shocked about it, but, yeah. And, uh, good thing I had those pliers on me also when I caught that pike. Otherwise, I'd have been donezoed because that was kind of tough to get out even with the pliers. Those teeth are pretty gnarly. The thing was pretty long, too. It was maybe, like, 28, maybe even 30. It's pretty long. It fought, like, I thought, like, it was just sitting on bottom. It wouldn't even come up for for, for anything, dude. And the, and the funny thing is that Grant caught, like, a fish, like, a, like a, maybe a one-half, two-pounder bass, like, in, like, ten minutes earlier than that. And he caught a uh, bass that looked like he had been bitten by, like, a pike or something with teeth, like a fish with teeth. And, like, on each side of the belly, it looked like it had marks, and it looked pretty fresh. But, like, it could have been from my pike that I caught because it was in the same general area. But it also could have been just another fish or anything. I don't think it would have been from a peller. I thought it was could have been from that before. But I realized, like, the marks are too, like, it was kind of crazy. But, yeah. So I caught my first ever pike. Still pretty pumped about it. It was a pretty good pike. I was, I've never really... I mean, I felt things fight harder than that, but for that size of fish, it's a that's a pretty good fight. It's a pretty good rush of adrenaline and stuff. So, yeah, so guys, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. This has been DP Fishing.